A 74 year old man is recovering tonight after another man attacked him at a trolley station on the way to an Aztecs basketball game. Good evening. I'm Jesse Pagan and for Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. CBS 8's Anna Laurel sat down with the victim and his wife today. She reports from the Fenton Parkway trolley stop where Saturday's attack happened. And we want to warn you that some of the pictures of the man's injuries are tough to look at. We've been looking into what kind of security there is for our public trolley system. Out here on Saturday night, it was pretty busy with a lot of people going to the Aztecs basketball game. I spoke with a woman whose husband was attacked, his jaw broken. She doesn't want to go on camera. She's so shaken up. But she does want to share her story so people know what happened to her at a trolley station. His right jaw was broken in two places. His left ear fell against a rock wall and it's all mangled up and torn and he had some brain bleeds. This is what happened to this woman's husband Stop. after she says a man attacked him while they waited for a trolley Saturday night. He has clamps on his jaw. She says she took a picture of this man after she saw him yelling at someone and stealing his phone. But then he marched over to where she and her husband stood. He gave me the finger. I can't remember what he said. I'm scared. He points to my husband and says, D does he belong to you? And he walks right over. He just punches him. He just punches him. She says he then shoved another man to the ground near her. There's a male at this location yelling at people and trying to take their phones, and they're now requesting medics. You can hear the report over the police scanner. At this point, he did 242 somebody with his fist. The man was last seen walking into the IKEA parking lot. He wasn't right in the head, and he was ready to fight with anybody. Can you make contact with them and see? After Saturday's attack, I called San Diego's transit system to ask about security, and they invited us inside their command center. So we have vi uh, cameras everywhere within our stations, um, on our vehicles, uh, both bus and rail. Um, we have over 10,000 cameras on the system. CEO Sharon Cooney says crews monitor surveillance cameras 24 7. Six to nine cameras are on every trolley car, inside and out, and all over trolley stations. 200 security personnel patrol and will ride in the trolley, but there's not always a guard at every station. The woman whose husband was attacked says the district attorney's office called and said they're looking for the man in the pictures. Now, as she tries to help her husband of 52 years heal, she says their days of riding the trolley to Aztec games are over. I don't think my kids would let me. At the Fenton Parkway trolley station, Anna Laurel for CBS 8.